Time now is 941. Today is National Weigh-In Day. Did you know that? Well, if one of your goals for the new year is to lose some weight, there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. And mental toughness expert Eric Rittmeyer joins us now on this Motivation Monday with tips to improve our overall health. Good morning to you, Eric. Happy New Year. Marissa, good morning. Happy New Year. Can you please get me back in studio? I'm sick of oh looking at this God. camera. Yes, you know what? We need to <laughs> interact and, and, and activate our mental toughness to make that happen. Maybe if we think about it enough, you know, we can. <laughs> yeah, but we so look forward to having you back in studio. But in the meantime, uh, we know a lot of people want to get into good physical shape this time of year. People always say that coming into a new year. But we have to also focus on our minds to do that. What is mental toughness? Mental toughness in two words is emotional control. We're hardwired to feel first and think later. When it comes to our diets, we're emotional eaters. I mean, think about how many movies there are where boy and girl break up and they're sitting on the couch with a tub of ice cream and a pizza, right? So the problem is we use food as a way to enhance the pleasure, but also ease the pain. You get really happy. What do you do? You eat. You get really sad. What do you do? You eat. So it's almost like a drug. We have to get control of our emotions. Yeah, or sometimes you eat to, to be happy. I mean, I, I've been there myself with comfort eating, you know, and that's very, very tough. But what are some of the keys that we can do to use our mental toughness to, to override all of those uh, shortfalls? Yeah, mentally tough people are grounded in objective reality. They know that there's no easy path to getting healthy. They know there's going to be some pain. They know there's going to be speed bumps, but they don't focus on the pain. They focus on the results. So it's all about understanding nothing's easy. We live in this, we live in this society of instant gratification. We think we can pop a pill and wake up tomorrow and lose 10 pounds. The weight loss formula is simple. Burn more calories than you consume. The problem is it's not easy to do. So we search for the easy path as opposed to the most effective path. Mm. So we have to eat strategically and not emotionally. That's where the yo-yo diets come from. You know, and like I said, people put so much emphasis on, okay, the pain, the pain, it's going to hurt. Realistically, all we do when we focus on the pain, we just waste mental energy. If we can look at the end goal and realize it's not going to be easy, if we can focus on the main goal, that's where our mental energy gets directed towards. So then we don't dwell on how bad it's going to hurt and how early we have to wake up and how much we're going to starve. Exactly. And also, Eric, taking it in pieces, even if you have a goal weight or a number of hours you want to exercise each week one step at a time is very important and it's being realistic and that's the thing about new year's resolutions that's why 80 percent of new year's resolutions regardless of what it is it's why 80 percent of them fail within the first three weeks we go from having no diet at all not exercising at all to january 1 i'm going to eat 300 calories a day and work out for four <laughs> hours it's just not realistic it's not going to work so now that we know those mental toughness keys there, how do we get ourselves to a place where we want to even begin to try? Because sometimes it's hard to even find the motivation. It is an emphasis on motivation, Marissa. And thank you for bringing that word up because that is the biggest problem with goals, with resolutions. We that's tied to how we feel. How we feel is tied to an emotion. So if we wake up in the morning, we don't feel well, we don't stick to it. It's all about developing a very strong emotion-based why. Why are we doing what we're doing? Once we can focus on that why and we can see it visually, it doesn't matter if we're happy, doesn't matter if we're sad, doesn't matter if we're tired. We're going to stick to that why because it has a very, very strong place in our heart. Okay, and before I let you go, Eric, what can we do practically? I mean, do we need to keep a journal to write this down, uh, make a vision board, how can we uh, make all of this tangible as we move forward? Yeah, actually, I have a report on my website, too, mentaltoughnessspeaker.com. It's a simple download for, your, for everybody watching. It's really simple stuff, but it's about being realistic. It's just doing very simple things. Get up. Don't sit around all the time. Drink more water. Chew gum. It sounds silly. Keep your house cold. Just make reminders to not sit on the couch all day long. Get up and walk over to the sink to get water. Really simple stuff, but in tiny bites. Okay, and also track your progress. I think that's very important. We put those goals out there, and we don't look back and at what we did do and what we did accomplish, and that's very important as well. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for motivating us on this this Monday. I'll be sure to make it out to the gym today. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks, Marissa. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for having me. All right. Take it easy.